Hey, hey, hello everybody, this is Mr. Soises, and today I'm going to be showing you my newest invention, the newest member of the Redstone Works family. Man, they're getting a better, bigger house, you know, the summer's come, i got a whole bunch of new inventions just ready to stuff into that house. It's pretty awesome, guys. You should definitely sub so you can see all the new inventions throughout the summer. So this guy, this is my very, very compact, awesome cow farm. Cow sheep farm, whatever you want to use it as. You can put a whole bunch of different colors of sheep in there. They'll when you breed them together, they'll make all new types of colors too. They'll mix the colors. It's really awesome. It will give you mutton, leather, and that beautiful, beautiful steak that everyone loves to eat because it heals so much of your hunger bar and also gives you saturation on your hunger bar so you don't have to eat as often. So this is the OP farm. This is the boss farm. If you are good at Minecraft, this is the farm that you need. Let me go on to a little bit of an explanation and then we'll get on to building it. Bam! So as you can see, this is a very, very small farm. It's only a 3x5x5 up area, discluding the buttons and the fence post right there. And uh, the buttons are necessary. The fence post is just kind of for convenience. So let me show you how to use it real quick. So. If you don't have wheat, then what you're going to need to do is, uh, you know, if you want to and you have some bones lying around, you might want to make this very, very, very small farm right here, uh, my 3x3 nano farm. And uh, all you'd have to do, if you did make this, get a bunch of bone meal, fill each one of the dispensers up with bone meal, just showing you this bone meal in each one of those. Uh, go ahead right up close to it on one of the sides, click the lever, and hold down, you might have to, there you go. You gotta get some of those green sparklies, and just, once you have the green sparklies, keep holding down, and you can see the wheat just going up, up and up and up and up and up and up, and let's just get about a stack. It's very, very fast. There we go, we have a stack of wheat already. And uh, in survival, that would use the seeds, but in creative, it doesn't. Um, yeah, it re just resupplies you with the seeds that you need, and as soon as your inventory is done, or it's full, or uh, you run out of bone meal, then it will stop. Um, but yeah, once you have that, of course, you can go check that out in the description or maybe on the screen. And I will also leave it as one of those new cards. So uh, the link to the video where I build that for you guys if you want a tutorial. And I also explain in depth how to use it. So yeah, it, now that you have this farm all set up, you would be able to go ahead or once you build this farm, I should say. All that you need to do is get some cows in here. I'll show you how to do that later. Uh, and then go ahead, put the fence post. And now you just want to click that button. That's just a, a diagonal from that big hole. And with your wheat, so let's go into slash game mode survival. And you can see that I just go ahead and right click on these cows. And I don't need to worry about pressing shift or anything can just go around them I just bred them so not many of them are gonna be able to be bred but uh, yeah they will take the wheat if they can if uh, once five minutes has passed they will all be able to take the wheat again and then you just click the button again if any of them are jumping just wait for them to stop jumping and hit this button that's if you didn't hit that button after a little while you start having three then four then six and probably eight and it would keep going up but if you hit the button then they get pushed into here and that's not all the time sometimes they just kind of shoot into here but sometimes they'll get stuck then they will grow up but not all the time so sometimes even if you don't hit the button they still will go in here um, but yeah once you have oh, almost tried to jump off the edge in survival not cool okay let's go see for creative and yeah so we can see down here you have the chamber for all of the the grown-up and baby cows that you just bred. So the grown-up cows are the baby cows that grew up after 20 minutes. And so all you need to do is once you see there's some grown-up cows in there, I am pretty sure I just tested this. So in here you can see that there's nothing. And then we can go up here and just press this button. And you can see that all of the adult cows are gonna die but the babies are gonna be completely left alone and none of them are going to jump into the lava or anything like that if you just accidentally left it. Make sure that the lava is off, like it's it's back in the dispenser, before you go ahead and breed them all, because otherwise they will all die. Um, but yeah, just turn it on, let them die, and then turn it off again. 
I would suggest it's not very long for them to die when they're in lava and uh, yeah then you can go down to this chest down here and ta-da I got a whole bunch of steak and a whole bunch of leather that was only a few cows too it gets you a lot of both of these so uh, it also works with sheep so you can get wool and mutton if you want to instead of leather and steak yeah so pretty 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 awesome I'm thinking and uh, yeah so let's get on to the materials you're gonna need half a stack of non-transparent blocks 16 glass blocks two dispensers not droppers dispensers three of any type of button two redstone dust one hopper one redstone torch one sticky piston a chest a water bucket a lava bucket and two signs so on a three by five area you're gonna want to go ahead and get a chest and a hopper place the chest down there hopper facing into it by pressing shift Then you want to place some blocks around it and then do a little two by three area right there now you want to get your glass out and you do a little bit of a kind of holding cell around the hopper and go ahead place a sign right on any one of those glass blocks actually and go ahead place a dispenser facing upwards on top of the middlemost uh, glass block and a dispenser facing towards the hopper area and place a lava and water bucket as you just saw and start placing glass up and that's going to be your killing chamber now right here this is going to be your breeder cow chamber and they're going to be separated by only a single block so you need to leave that block space out of there and you need to put a sign right here to stop any of the water from touching the lava and now go ahead and build up with the glass this is going to be the containment unit for the breeder cows and now you can go ahead and place down just all these random blocks if you want to the only blocks you really need are this one that one uh, now you want to place a redstone okay redstone dust on top of there with a redstone torch beside it and you're also going to want a button on that top block that I said was necessary okay and if you click that then that will switch the water on and off as you can see just test it make sure that all works and if it's switching out lava then you have the lava in the wrong spot now you can just keep filling in all of these extra little spots if you want to now the only spot you really need is that one and this one um, now you need to put a redstone dust on there and a button on top of that as you see here and that should switch on and off the lava so if it's not doing that again make sure that uh, you test each step so that you uh, don't mess up in the long run now you want to go back to where the breeder cows are and you want to build out two and take away one of them and go ahead with a sticky piston and just place it towards the glass as you see there with a block on top and on top of the block is a button so that should be able to just push the glass block into where the breeder cows are going to be all right and now you are going to need some cows in here so I'm just building a little bit of a barrier you can build it pretty much however you really want to just the barrier really helps all right so you're gonna to want to get your two cows and you can be in survival and just lead them with wheat over to your farm and make a little bit of a stairway up for them you want to make a two wide stairway so that they can both go up at the same time just nudge them if they're not going up by the same time and uh, yeah they should just leisurely walt waltz right up there and only one of them you can push in at a time so just kind of get it into the little path and go ahead give him a little bit of a nudge into the breeder area and now this other cow he wants to be a little bit of a, a vent and just hang out on the corner there he's not really following my wheat so let's just go ahead and try to push him yeah they, uh, they don't move very much when you're holding wheat in your hands, even if uh, if they're not following you. It's kind of weird. So, uh, yeah, just go ahead and nudge them into the spot. It, it's kind of it's kind of difficult. Okay, it's pretty difficult, I'll admit. But uh, once you get just two cows at least in here, you won't ever have to do it again. And you're going to have all of the leather that you ever want. Of course, this can also be sheep. You can do this with sheep. And you can also do this with leads. If you have all the, the materials to make some leads, uh, you should know how to use those. I'll make a tutorial on how to use leads one day. If you uh, really want it, let me know in the description. 
But yeah, you can just go ahead and take away all those blocks, test your water, that should make them jump, give them some, uh, give them some little loving if you want to, and they, uh, they might make a baby for you, and uh, if they do, it's gonna be pretty great. If you don't want him to become a breeder cow, then you can just press the button, he'll get put into the killer chamber, and you can press the lava all you want, but until that cow is, uh, you know, matured after 20 minutes, he's not gonna get burnt by the lava, he's not gonna jump, he's not gonna do anything silly like that, he's just gonna be a really great little cow. Let's just show you what it would look like if he did grow up. So let's get a adult cow in here, and we will put the glass back, and uh, go ahead and press the button for the lava, and you can see that that will kill the adult cow, and though it looks like they're all on fire, just the adult cow dies, and all of his items go into that hopper, into the chest, and you can see that the little baby cow is totally fine, and uh, all of the items went into the chest. So up here you want to place a fence over these guys once you have all the, the base cows that you want in there, and uh, yeah, you should pretty much be fine other than that. All right. I think that is everything that I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a lumberjack today. I love your faces, and I will see you in the next episode.